Hey guys, what is up? Pop on, give me a little hey girl, hey. Let me know that you're here. I'm gonna do the quick shares and do my adjusting of my light, you know, all that fun stuff. Let me know that you are here. If you catch the replay, put hashtag replay or hashtag tardy, just so I know you stopped by. My name is Sarah Rothwell, hot mess mom with makeup. Just give me one second. I wanna share in my current beauty bashes and other makeup places. Hey, 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 hey Tita. Okay. I'm excited. It's so funny because I just went live and I felt like something was up and I knew it was because um, I was live to myself, by myself. So, pop on. Let me know that you're here. I'm going to be less of a ghost. Hey, there we go. Yep. Okay. I just realized how much of a hot mess I really was. <laughs> I'm like extra extra hot mess that's why I need this makeup therapy in my life I am going to be so real with y'all I have done like minimal makeup all week long like I literally have done no eyeshadow all week except I think Tuesday so you know just in case you think you can't do what I do you could do what I do because if you can look like a hot mess express right here and still do what I do. So we're just gonna have some fun tonight. Pop on, let me know that you're here. Give me a little hey girl, hey. When you pop on, hit the share video because we need all the votes tonight, okay? We need to know, epic fail or epic now? Okay, so, sorry, I got a message in squirrel brain. Squirrel brain. So, let me share with her that I'm live, just so she knows. That would be the nice thing to do. And someone messages messages you. Words are hard, people. Words are hard. How is everybody's Friday night? Okay, I'm, I'm about to do something scary. I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I was gonna look up how to do this, like how to get extra fancy, do exactly like that, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it and do the way I used to do, and I literally would just be like, I've never tried this before. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, anyways, we're doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the eyes first and then I'll do my makeup because with this palette, it's very bright and colorful, so I think it makes sense to do that. Oh my God, yes, Tasha. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I was on here, so why I didn't message you. Okay, hey? Okay, so we're gonna start off because I really want um, a very nude look. I'm gonna do a little bit of my concealer and my primer together, my eye primer. I'm gonna do my eye primer first. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Tina, you amaze me with all the things that you do in one day. Hunt, do your makeup, slinging mascaras, hunting, coming home, cooking, like just doing all the things all the things I need to wipe off. So I have one of those days that I, see, I'm gonna be real with y'all and honest. I wore my mascara from yesterday, today. Like I just have, <laughs> have one of those days. So first I'm gonna take off this mascara that is like hanging out. So that way I don't look all crazy. I didn't realize. You know, you have those days where you don't even like look at yourself. That's why I need this makeup therapy. Anybody else feel that way? Like you just need to do your makeup just to feel human, I guess. If that makes sense. Okay, now we're gonna start over. Okay, so I'm gonna use the concealer because it's um, cause it's nice and clear and this is gonna be a nice base. Hey Wanda. What are you making for dinner? I did really good. I was gonna order pizza, but then I was like, you know what, no. I'm going to use up all the leftovers because we're gonna have steak on Sunday and I don't want any of that stuff to go bad. So that's what we're doing. 
So yeah, I'm going to be, this is actually concealer, but this is really great for what our goal is tonight because we're gonna be using these bold colors. So you wanna start off with like a nice neutral. So I wanna, I wanna get my, my, my stuff together here in a minute. You know, when you, I don't know if anybody does like the bedtime routine. I just got done doing the bedtime routine and it takes me a minute to get myself, you know out of not trying to fall asleep while singing lullabies. <laughs> okay, now, that's the wrong one. We're gonna go in with a neutral color, literally a nude color, and that's just gonna be our all over color. Okay, so I wanna know when you pop on, if you catch the replay, put hashtag tardy, let me know, epic nail, epic fell. I'm doing something I've never done before. I am playing with this palette. Now I've done this look one, I've done a look with this palette one time and you might notice it, that green, that's what I did my Christmas look with. Fried taters, dear hot mushrooms, ooh. Nice. See, I'm the only one in my house that likes Southern food, and it makes me sad. I love fried chicken, I love pork chops, I love all things Southern, and no one else, no one else in my house does. So, I have to like, and I'm the only one that eats seafood, so like I just, yeah, I'm all alone. So when I have my girls night, hint, hint, wink, wink, to my girls that are on here, we need a girls night. We could do sushi, or we can go to a seafood place. <laughs> Tasha, when we're on that cruise, I will be having all the seafood. That is gonna be a thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some concealer under here. Hello, dark circles. Goodbye. Hey, Daniela. Hello, ladies. Thanks so much for popping on. I know it's been a minute. It is challenging to do a live at 5 o'clock in the morning. I am trying to recoup from after the holiday break. Does anyone else believe that this week was like a year in its own? Like anybody else? Because I feel like this week was really long. Like, it was long. And I was very, very happy about it being Friday. I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay. I just got to go with where we're going. We're going to go with an outside V. And we're going to go with influenced. Oh. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I am the queen of butchering names. But I'm also the one that will be like, hey, voice message me how you say it, and I will say it right every other time. Like I put that every other time. Um, okay, so we're gonna use, like, what do y'all think? I'm gonna try to do all the colors. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> so it's just Danielle, no, Daniela. See, Tina, one of my girls, she's in my team. And when she was just used to be one of my friends and she would watch me live, she's got an extra I in her name, okay? So I would always be like, you know, I would emphasize that I, and she's like, you, you can calm it down with that. It's just Tina. I'm like, yep, but it's got an extra letter, so I wanted to give you that extra. <laughs> so, hey, Chelsea. Where, oh, where is a mirror? I need a mirror. I'll use this one. I'll have to take off. See, y'all know that I really haven't even used it because look, it's got the fresh on there. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'm, I'm procrastinating because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with this look, but we're gonna do it. We are committing. There's our commitment right there. Look at that purple, it's so vibrant. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush because I really wanna make sure I'm getting those colors where they need to be because there's gonna be so many of them. And that's why I love this brush cleaner. Hey, Jessica. 
How are you, Chelsea? Uh, fun fact that I found out though, I have my new, um, I don't know if you have some uh, post about my new wand where I can curl my hair. I didn't have any hairspray. This is my second day of the curl. This is just like the beachy wave look. More like, you know, rolled out of bed look, but you know, we're going with it. Um, so my setting spray that I have works as a hairspray. Fun fact, okay? Because my hair will not hold a curl to save its life. And this is the second day with it. It never ever holds a curl. Like I have to wait for the perfect temperature. I'm in Georgia and it has to be the perfect amount of no humidity outside, which is like never. And it held. I was super impressed. Okay. So this is going to give me, I'm switching the brush. Like I said, this is going to put that color where I want it. Hey, Tanisha. Ah, hey ladies, thanks so much for popping on. Hey, give this video a quick share so that way I can get your vote. Tell me epic now or epic fell at the end. I'll post pictures in the comments. I'm just kind of playing around with it, honestly. Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Chelsea, I'm like the worst girl. I know it doesn't seem that way, but I am. Like, I'm really bad. <laughs> like, I'm really bad at being a girl. I, I have I have goals, right? But like my husband shops for me. My husband literally shops for me. I'm like, I can't match myself. My six year old will tell me if I'm mix matched. I'm not even kidding. And just so you know, this is sweet tea. I mean, it's not spiked or anything. Okay. I love this purple. What do y'all think about this color? Like I'm barely even tapped in there because I was scared to tap into it. And now I'm like, ooh, look at that. Chelsea, I have to try that though. Hey, 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 hey. All right. I haven't even done much. Look at that, like that, I'm done. The end, we're done. Look is complete. <laughs> okay. I, I am like the makeup really is what brought me into a little bit more girly but like anytime I would like get nice and dolled up it was only a special occasion and then I was just kind of like you know being being me and not realizing you know and, and I'm not trying to be extra girly but I think finding your own and finding like that who you are, like your style and all that. Like I'm growing into that. I'm finding myself more and more doing that. So I'm going to do the exact same technique. So I'm going to start with my blending brush so that way it looks the same. Me too, Tina, me too. I'm so glad I did this. I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be scared with y'all. Do a scared, right? That's what I tell y'all. That's what they tell me to do, and we're doing it. I'm gonna blend this one. I, um, I wanna tell you a pretty interesting story. The reason why I got this palette. Now, I saw all these beautiful looks with it, and I was like, yeah, whatever. I've got like palette this, palette that. I don't need it in my life. I don't need it, I'm not gonna get it. My daughter, my six-year-old, the one again that helps me with my matching, tells me, mom, that, mm -mm, that doesn't go. Um, mind you, I raised her, so where does she get these skills? Like, did she take them from me? Did she suck them out when she sucked out everything? Like, you know, I think that's what happened. Your brains go when you have kids. They take any any kind of, you know, smarts you have. <laughs> but anyways, this is actually a really sweet story. So she, she saw this palette and she said, Mom, I think you should get that. And I was like, well, why, honey? And she's like, well, of course she loves rainbows and unicorns, you know, and that's what that makes her think of. But she says, I can see you in your wedding dress wearing this. And I was like, stop. 
So then it made me think, what about for my 10 year anniversary or even seven year, which is coming up, um, doing like a photo shoot in my wedding dress with like these bright colors and like everything black and white except for my eyes. I think that would be kind of cool. So she got me thinking, I was like, okay, I need it. Hey, Jennifer. So that's what I um, decided. And, and I mean, let's, let's get real here. These are going to look pretty hot on the boat in Bahamas. These are, these are like tropical colors. So you're going to have to bring that out for like a, I thought, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Okay. So there's our one color. That's just one color. How crazy. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do next, what do y'all think? Honestly, if I was going for like this look, what color would y'all go with next? Cause I don't even know. Should I go with the pink and go in? Should I do the orange? Like, I don't even know. Y'all help, y'all help a girl out. I'm thinking the blue for the depth while y'all, you know, maybe y'all can vote down there cause I need some help. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the blue as like the eyeshadow. That part I do now, so. Input is definitely accepted. I love this blue, I love it. Now, if for whatever reason you don't think these colors are vibrant enough, don't worry. Remember we were talking about the rose water? Don't know if you caught it yesterday. So you think I should go blue there as well? Like in the inner V to like make it kind of smokier? Rose water. Rose water will pop that color even more. And I'm almost out. There we go. Tiny bit left. But rose water or even setting spray. All right, so blue with the purple. I'm on. I'm gonna do it. We're just gonna go down all the colors. I'm a big, big fan of Sapphire. I love Sapphire. Hello, Dee. Thanks, ladies, for popping on. Make sure in the comments you let me know you're here. Give me a little hey, girl, hey. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm from Georgia, um, not too far from Atlanta, actually, in Decatur. Um, Let me know where you're tuning in from. So what I've done is I've taken that purple and I'm doing like an outside V and now I'm taking the blue and I'm taking a little, little V. Little bitty V. When you have shimmer based shadows, you don't want to blend those shadows. You want to tap those shadows. So um, the blue is more of a shimmer. So you're literally just gonna tap it on and look at the difference. You see that? You're gonna get that vibrant, vibrant color. So we're playing around with palette number seven and just chit-chatting. I love how this is coming out already.
Okay. So what do you think, Chelsea? Literally just go to the green and just go down the line and then kind of go around my eye with all those colors? Or should I go pink and orange? Because I feel like those would be... I feel like the green would take over. Now pink. Thank you, Angela. I like you. I like, a, I like women with opinions. I'm a very indecisive person. My husband cannot stand it. It's like one of his least quality, like favorite qualities of me. And I've been this way. But anybody else have this issue with loved ones? You know, my, you know, whoever it might be in your life, they want you to make an, a, a decision, but the times that you make a decision, they immediately disagree with what you decided. It's like, honey, what do you want to eat? I want Mexican. No. But, but I, you asked me, and I told you, and I'm telling you exactly where I want to go, but now no? Okay. Pink and white. You know what? I was honestly thinking the pink and then maybe fading almost these two together like a sunset. Like the orange and the, the yellow as like almost a sunset. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let me use this brush because we need, we're working with a smaller surface. So. But yeah, anybody else struggle with that? Like that? They'll tell you, be more decisive. And then you're like super decisive. You're like direct about what you want and how you want it. And they're like, no. I like it, but no. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't, I don't want to decide then. Now I feel like after this, I need to go out dancing. I need to go somewhere special. Oh, I really like that. Tasha, if you're still on, you need to do it. It's not as scary as it looks. You just gotta jump. We can't tiptoe. <laughs> exactly. It's like, that's, that's what he is. Because like, if I make that decision and then he's like, no, good try. And then the back and forth, you know, it's his turn to to say something. Then I'm like, mm, I'm not feeling it. And then it's, and then we do the little back and forth for a minute. But see, I don't play the role of the wife most of the time. I play the role of the husband. Like I play, I like the one that's always in trouble. Always right. That's my husband. Do it, Tina. But that's what makes us us, though. Because if it was any other way, it wouldn't work. We balance each other out, like, perfectly. We're both also chefs. Our backgrounds are chefs. Yeah, and we balance each other out in the kitchen as well. Like, I'm very meticulous and I'm all about organization, labels, and inventory and structure very like different brain and I, I was a chef too but that's what I was really great at and then he was the opposite and very like his on his knuckles says on the fly so he's all like creative and do the things and blah 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 so when we put, put things together we literally called them our food babies at the time we didn't know that we would actually have real babies hey Dondra I feel like we need a little bit of pink right there. Don't y'all agree? It's coming together. I love it. Woo! Mm. 
feeling feisty. Hey, Becky. Hey, ladies, thanks so much for popping on. Make sure you put in the comments that you're here. Give me a little hey, girl, hey, so I can say hey. And hit that share button for me. Love when you do that. It gets more people to see the looks and having fun. And y'all can vote epic fail or epic now at the end. Okay, so I think, yep, we're gonna combine the orange and the yellow. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the orange. And you know what, I, what I'm very surprised by, ladies, is, okay, Angela, it's funny because immediately my brain got confused because bake is also a makeup terminology, but I was immediately like bake, like cookies and bread, but then I'm like, oh, does she mean bake, like baking your face? But I'm pretty sure you mean cookies and bread. Yes, I actually, um, I, because I was a chef in the man's world, and I know it's not that way, but it is still kind of that way, I kept finding myself in a role where I wanted to sh keep showing that I'm a woman, hear me roar. I was very young and I was like, I am not a pastry chef, I am a chef, I'm a line cook, I get dirty, that kind of thing. But then, then I realized I was more of an asset if I knew everything. So then I did train to become a pastry chef as well. And I really enjoyed it. Like I actually am known for a red velvet cheesecake. Um, a place that I was the executive chef at. I would change out cheesecake seasonally. Not seasonally, like almost like every other week. And then I found during the holidays I made, made this red velvet cheesecake. And they are like breaks. You can't make any other cheesecake. This is it. You have to, this is the cheesecake. We don't want any other. And it made me, it was pretty cool. Hey, ladies. Okay. I am loving this. Anybody else just like, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. I am glad I didn't research this or get inspired by somebody else. I like it. I like the way it is. Y'all helped me create it and I like it. So just so y'all know which brush I'm using, this is our cream shadow brush. So it's perfect, it's flat. So it's putting the makeup exactly where I want it. You can get a smaller brush um, once we get, like if we need to get a little smaller to get the details. But this is working. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on with that yellow. But yeah, I'm very surprised. Like look, there's like no fallout with this makeup. I thought for this palette, for sure, there would be a lot of fit, fallout, but there's not. Just on the tip of my brush. Yes. Hey, Faustina. Hey, Samantha. How's everybody doing tonight? Shine bright like a, not really like a diamond. More like rainbow bright. So y'all saw how scared I was. I was super scared. Like I, was work, like I've had this palette for a minute and I've challenged my upline and I challenge it so that way I can get pretty much ballsy and do it. And I was scared and I did it. So now I'm just gonna blend these colors together. So, hey, thank you. I'm gonna muck it up. And then we even have this beautiful, like, 
it's white silver. That's gonna be perfect for like the corner. Like right in the tear teardrop area. Use my pinky. Ooh la la. There we go. And we don't even have the mascara on yet. Oh, and if you share, as always, make sure you put it in the comments so I can shout you out. Let me flip this over. No. So I don't have any color on this brush right now. I'm just kind of softening softening it out. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to have to definitely take some pictures for my daughter because they're all about that rainbow unicorn life for sure. Which I love. Although um, my youngest is turning five and I'm definitely freaking out because it's like they're they're getting old. I'm not ready. I'm not having any more babies, but she's still kind of baby-like. And I know I kind of baby her too, because she kind of had a rough, rough uh, childhood. Um, so I, I know I baby her, but she's for her fifth birthday. She wants, her birthday is at the end of January now. She wants Halloween themed birthday. And this mom's like, yeah. We're doing it. Let's have fun. So we're getting some jack-o'-lantern cupcakes in the middle of January. I'm gonna let people wear their Halloween costume. I feel like parents are gonna like that because, I mean, you get to wear your costume again. Um, and yeah. So I feel like that purple's a little bit brighter, so I'm gonna bring this one up. Now I just kind of touched in like literally like a tiny bit in that pink so that way I can bring it up some because if you've ever watched any of my lives, you know I have hooded eyes, I have smaller eyes. So if I don't bring those up, you're not going to see that color at all. Like it's going to be like I could paint like curse words on my eyelids and you wouldn't see them because I have hooded eyes. So you gotta you gotta bring the artwork up you work with what you got ladies if you ain't got big eyes make it work for you okay and then we're just gonna smooth that out and go in with that purple Exactly, you know, it's like every all the birthdays are themed anyways, and they're all unicorn theme or they're they're whatever you know right now everything's gonna be frozen theme or why not have like a unique party that she's gonna remember her brain might get it confused and be like, I remember we went such and such for Halloween. I was like, actually, that was your fifth birthday, but I remember you know cupcakes that were shaped like pumpkins also your birthday. <laughs> All right, so I think we need to bring in some electric blue eyeliner. What do y'all think? You think it'd be too much? Or you think we should, we should do it? This guy here. You think we should? Show me some hearts if we should go with the blue. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna get my face, my face on. I am loving it. I had a little bit of fallout from that purple, but really not that bad. Hey, Leslie, we did it, right colors? I know you said you would never ever, but I did it finally. 
Okay, then you can go back in at the very end and get your discrete to clean up those colors. Ah, thank you. Okay, we're doing it. We doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Let me not jack up this whole look and mess up my eyeliner. I'm gonna be sad. I can't screw this up. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Thanks for popping on. Makeup therapy in the works, and it is working. I, ha I had a Friday. Did anybody else have like a Friday, Monday? I had a Friday, Monday. It was a very Monday Friday. Kids in class were, woo! They were, they were something else today. Okay, we're doing it nice and slow. Thank you. I need a light, a Z light. I gotta brighten you up. You got a little, that's actually much better. What do y'all think? It was getting dark. There we go. When y'all do y'all's makeup, do you do your eyes first or do you do your face? For me, I usually do my face and then I do my eyes. But tonight I did it the other way around. I can't wait to show my friend Erin this look. I think she'll love it. Okay. So we'll do a quick cleanup of this guy. I'm gonna add a little tail to that guy. What do y'all think of that blue? I think that blue looks nice. I think it looks nice. Okay. And then I need my white eyeliner for my lower lash. Of course, usually I don't take this long to do my makeup, but this is, this is just the fun stuff. Pencil sharpener. Do it. Yeah. Anybody have any fun plans this weekend? I think it's supposed to rain here. But then it's supposed to be nice on Sunday, like almost 70 degrees in winter. I think that makes a lot of sense. Nobody likes to see this part, <laughs> the inside of my eyeball. 
It's got a little bit of black on there, so I'm trying to fix that. I don't know if anybody else uses white eyeliner, but it makes a huge difference. It pops your eyes even more, and I know that seems crazy with all this color, but it'll open up your eyes. Hey, Candy. Can't get it to work for me. Need a piece of paper. Here we go. Sometimes you get the like the wax on it, and they just refuse to work. So we're gonna get it. Hey Lorraine. Oh look, I finally got the palette seven out. What do you think? Okay, I know. And tricky, tricky, tricky now. Here we go. Okay, now the fun part. Well, this was the fun part, but the next fun part, and then I'll do my face off my live. Y'all gotta see the magic, the magic of this freaking these lashes. This is my secret to lashes, because I want to show y'all. Like, y'all gotta see how little lashes I do have. Like, I have super short lashes. Like, y'all could barely even, like, see how short my lashes are? Now watch. Watch this. Okay, so my secret weapon is lash primer. It makes such a difference. It's like one of those products that you didn't know you needed until you got it and you were like, oh, that's what that does, okay. Like coffee, you know? When I was a kid, I never could understand why my mom would drink coffee. I thought it was so gross. And now, I can't function without it. Now I totally get it. I dream about coffee. I, I go to bed and I look forward to my coffee. I know, I know it's sad. Anybody else, am I alone on that bus? I literally think about coffee before I go to sleep and I even consider it at night. I'm like, what would happen if I made myself a cup of coffee? Would I stay up all night? So what Lash Primer is, just in case you didn't know, because whenever they announced this product while I was at convention, I'm, you know, listening, everybody gets up and they're cheering and they're like, yeah, and I'm like, the what? I need a primer for my lashes? Like, huh? And I literally am like, Lash Primer, what is Lash Primer? I totally Googled it. And... I still didn't know what it was, but then I went home because I got it for free at the convention and I put the bad boy on and I'm like, oh, okay, that's why, that's what that is. I'm gonna need that in my life, always. Not only that, it also um, nourishes your lashes, so it keeps them from falling out. So if you're doing the lash serum on top of doing this, you're gonna, you're gonna have some insane lashes and healthy lashes, because that's the biggest difference, is false lashes make you feel nice, but they're so bad for your lashes. They really are, so. Hey, Kara. Hey, Carrie. I swear, every time y'all pop on at the same time. The Jessicas do that too. I've got two girls, both of them Jessica, but one spells it with a K. And they will pop on too. How are you? Okay. So, how cool would it be if it stayed white though? <laughs> it doesn't stay white even if you just, like, if you happen to put the primer on and you don't put your mascara on. It doesn't stay white. It doesn't dry that way. And then we put our 4D mascara. Now, if you don't know about the 4D mascara, it is the best mascara 
on the planet. Maybe you're familiar with the 3D mascara. It was two tubes, it was kind of difficult. You had the gel, then you had the lashes because they're fiber infused. They literally lengthen your lashes. This is um, a Y-shaped fibers in this tube. It is literally in this tube. So there's no mess, no fuss, and there's zero fallout. So if you were ever one of the people that tried the 3D and didn't love it, I am telling you, you need to give the 4D a try. It sold out when it first came out, literally within an hour, and we sold a million. And then we brought it back, and then we sold even more. It is voted top mascara for a reason. It's the best. And it's also hyperallergenic. So, hey, Alicia. Thank you. This is um, palette seven. Isn't it fun? I was scared to do it. I'm not going to lie. I was scared and I was nervous. I had no idea how I was going to make the look. I just was going to go with it. And with the help of some, some friends that helped me pick the colors, this is the final look. Now, what lip do you go with this? Like, that's something, like, I don't even know about that. What lip color? A nude, I would assume? Like, I don't need a bold lip. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Okay, now y'all saw when I showed you that I have absolutely no lashes. Now look. Now, I'm still part of the short lash club, but when I put this mascara on, I am no longer part of the short lash club. You see that? Heck no, go bold. <laughs> okay, but what color? Because I have literally all the colors. <laughs> I have to... Okay, so I need to go bold. You know, most of my lipsticks, we're gonna probably go with the one that's here because most of my lipsticks are in. So we have, mm, here we go. I know what I can do. We'll go with the lip stain. I just gotta find it and I'll put it on afterwards. Stoic? I don't, I don't know, Tina. That one's a little bit too, for me, stoic looks very like brick red and brown. It's got a lot more brown. You think that would go? Hold on. New office. All my things are everywhere. I'm pretty sure my lip stain is in my bag in my purse. So I will get that and I will take my pictures and I will put it in the comments the way I do. I'm going to finish doing my face. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to go with my um, liquid foundation. Oh, um, by the way, if you haven't got your winter shade or you're needing, yeah, we're still in winter for most of everybody, only a few places, but if you need more foundation right now, it's on sale up to 38% off. And like all of the collections so if you need any refill on anything well, let me know because it's literally on sale so liquid foundation it is mineral based it is mineral actually I was gonna do a pink Angela you read my mind I have a hot pink lip stain so that's what I was gonna do I just I'm pretty sure it's in my bag so liquid foundation is a matte foundation I actually for me I like the stick foundation better however since I've been using my hydration mask I'm able to use the liquid foundation before my skin used to be so dry that I it couldn't handle this and you know what yeah because I have my stick foundation you got me thinking that I might want to do my stick too because I just exfoliated my face so I have some dry patches but that's, 
honest truth. Like I use my liquid only when my skin is like normal. So if you have dry skin, I recommend the stick foundation, BB cream, or the spray foundation. And unfortunately it's like almost all shades are sold out and it makes my heart sad because I'm like holding on to this like gold. Like y'all have no idea how much I love it. I promise you I will inform you when it's back because I'm going to be stocking it like crazy. Right now they're saying March, but we are like sending emails and sending stuff because we're like, we need it in our life. But yeah, so that's the only difference. I would, um, I'm not... I typically don't wear the liquid foundation unless my skin is like perfect, perfectly normal and not dry. However, it's doing pretty dang good with my hydration mask because usually it'll cake up right here, but it's not your foundation's fault. It's your skin. So make sure you have a good routine. If you're finding that your foundation is flaky, you need to exfoliate. If you're finding that it's like sliding off your face, it's because you have oilier skin. So what you need to do before, um, before putting on your foundation is make sure you put on your primer. I have put on my primer beforehand um, because I let it sit for a few minutes. By the way, my absolute favorite, favorite brush in the world. The Kabuki brush is number two because I use it for just this. But when I'm putting on my foundation, this is just so soft. It's almost like the foundation smells good and the brush is so soft. I'm just like, oh, I like it. <laughs> um, and then also, okay, so the other diff the difference too between the liquid and the stick the liquid is a matte, so it's literally going to matte you out and you need to add color back to your face. The stick foundation, on the other hand, has concealer. It's pretty much has concealer in it. It's a full coverage and it has a little bit of color to it. So you don't, you can add some warmth back to your skin, but not as much as a matte, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Oh yeah, no, my skin is way better because this is looking very nice. I love the liquid foundation, but it didn't love me because of my skin. And now I can wear it again. Now it is a medium coverage, but if you want it to be a full coverage, you just add a little more. My full face got covered with four drops. You add a few more drops, you could literally cover anything. I have covered my whole entire face red with lipstick you probably saw it and uh it um covered the whole thing so it's a buildable with the stick foundation it's also it's just creamier it's perfect for someone that has dry and normal skin and oily skin stick doesn't stick doesn't judge you it does whatever and okay so what i was talking about is with your matte foundation whichever kind you use it will flatten you out it's supposed to it's supposed to take the redness out uneven skin the dark the darkness under your eyes so it's gonna flatten your face so then you want to add a little warmth back to your face some color to it and i just do that with bronzer it's got a shimmer and a matte side and think of it like a three so whoop, whoop. okay so here right here and actually if you lean back and you're in your light you could see where the shadows are you're literally just going where your shadows are so disclaimer per usual I'm not a makeup artist I have just been doing this for a little bit and everything I've learned I've shared with y'all I had no clue what I was doing to two almost and a half years ago and I've just learned I've just picked it up I have amazing products and I share it with y'all um, never is an exact science if you don't like the way I do it do it the way you want to do it it's your thing oh and then outside of the nose just a little bit and on the tip voila 
okay? And lastly, I add a little bit of highlighter wherever that may be. Like I said, new office, things are everywhere. But I add a little color, a smidge of blush, which I'm not a big blush person, but you know. I have turned into a blush person because I am pale and I need to give myself some more color. Um, we've talked about it before, but it's been a minute. Remember the rule we were talking about with the blush? It's not a rule, but a good guide. What grandma used to do. Don't do what grandma used to do because when you're smiling, if you put your blush right where you're smiling, guess what happens? If you're over 30, like myself, that blush area is now going to go down here. And that's where we get that clown effect. So people that are like afraid of blush because they don't want to look like a clown, find your bone, take it and brush back. Take it and brush back. And that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I had an amazing time. I have missed doing this. I know um, I haven't been on here as often. I've been doing my videos and stuff and sharing it that way. But um, I love when I get to come on here and, and do fun looks like this. Um, if you are missing out on anything, a lot of this stuff has been going on in Hot Mess Mom with makeup in my VIP. If you want in, put VIP in the comments. And give this video a share, even as the replay. Always appreciated. More people see it. Um, and y'all have a wonderful weekend. Let me know too, Epic Nail or Epic Fell. I'll post a picture in the comments. And talk to you later. Bye.